Hi friends, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to the channel today. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Um, I had a request a little while ago. I showed a quick video of all my um, Coloring Heaven magazines. And it wasn't like a flip through or anything. It was just basically a quick show and tell. <laughs> and um, it was, I think it was like only like a seven minute video or something like that. And uh, someone asked me if I would do um, a more, uh, a longer video kind of showing some things inside the books. Uh, just because they were interested to know what was inside the books and stuff. And um, uh, I figured I would leave those pulled and do that video for you guys. Uh, so um, basically what I'm going to show you guys is my Color in Heaven collection. And I'm going to kind of show you some images in the, each one of the magazines. And I'm not doing full flips because I don't really do full extension the uh, full flips on like collection type videos because it just takes too long but if there's a certain book that or a certain magazine that you see that you want a full flip of let me know in the comments and I can do that as an in like an individual video um yeah and also I just wanted to let you guys know um me and Sarah from Chronic Coloring Down Under uh, have a hashtag that goes till the rest of the year and it's uh, basically coloring in your color heaven magazines and it's um, and the hashtag pull up my journal I don't want to get it wrong I know I put it in here <laughs> It's this one right here. So it's Love and Color in Heaven 2022. So um, basically it goes until the end of December. And you can color anything in your Color in Heaven magazines. And just use this hashtag on Instagram or any social media platform. And that would be awesome. And Sarah's um, thing is Chronic Coloring Down Under. And you can find her channel here on YouTube, as well as she has um, an Instagram account. So, yes, we'll just kind of get started. And I'll start off with my newest one that I shared in my last haul, which is this one. The Let me just make sure I'm in frame. Yeah, I think we're good enough. Um, small desk, so it's hard to know if I'm cutting off. I'm just going to get a quick drink. All right, so this is the Fledglings Fairy Special, and these are designs by Christine Karen, and um, this is a traditional Color in Heaven subscription magazine. They have started putting these in Walmarts, and if you live in the U.S., um, they do carry these at Barnes and Noble. If you live in the U.S., um, if you are in the U.K., go to the Anthem Publishing website. And you could get a subscription for a pretty good price. You can get it in the U.S. too, but the U.K. girls seem to get it faster. And I'm sure they have um, supermarkets and uh, stores that sell these on the shelf over in the U.K. as well. Um, anyway, so these have images from Christine Karen's books. A lot of these are in her books that you can get on Amazon, but in uh, Coloring Heaven magazines, they tend to uh, put in exclusive images that the artist has just done for Coloring Heaven, and in this one, the exclusives are in the front. She has the grayscale and the line work ones in here, so a little bit of both. So this is an exclusive one. So you can only find, okay, just make sure. You can only find this one in this magazine, this Rain Girl, Rain Elf. And there's another one. Another one, this girl with the little monster. These are all the exclusives. 
I'm just sharing with you the exclusives just so you guys can kind of see the exclusives that she has put in this book. And I haven't had a chance to color in this yet because this is so new to my collection. So there's this one. You'll see that I have several that I need to color in, hence the hashtag. Hopefully I can get more colored. I have a Fantasy Princesses special. Um, this is a traditional Color in Heaven subscription one as well. These are um, images by Josh Lee, and he does amazing work. And this one I had recently colored in in July. So that's the one that I colored, and it's called the Rock Star Princess. And I've used a variety of mediums on there. And it seems to take several different mediums well. And Bumblebee. Let's see if we have some exclusives in here as well. Because sometimes they have exclusives, sometimes they don't. Yeah, I don't see any exclusives in this one. But I believe you can get a fantasy princess book on Amazon as well. But if you like the Color in Heaven paper... I would suggest getting this one. Um, if you're curious about where to get these magazines, you can go to the Anthem Publishing website. You can buy them individually. You can also subscribe to their their magazines, or you can go to Etsy. Color in Heaven has an Etsy page, and you can pick books off of there. Um, they don't, they probably don't have everything I'm going to show you because some of these are very old books, but, um, you can look and see what they have now. I have the Woodland Fairy Special. This one is one that may not be available anymore. And these are by Christine Karen Images. And this is an older one. This is volume 49. So there's some grayscale. I flagged that one because I wanted to do that one. Very beautiful fall one. And these are line art ones. And I thought that one was really pretty because she has calla lilies, which are my favorite flower. She's pretty too. Christine Karen's work is just amazing. And then I had recently done that one. Next one I have here is Cutesy Christmas Special. And this one has uh, 40 Festival de Designs by Mariola Budek, Jen Katz, um, Hannah Lynn, Ruth Sanderson. Um, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. And... Loringa's art. Yeah. So, this one... Yeah, this one is a traditional one, too. So, this is Hannah Lynn, obviously. And you can find a lot of these in Hannah Lynn's Christmas book. You may be able... This is Jen Katz. So cute. Um... You may be able to find this book still on Anthem Publishing. They may still have it. This one's really cute, too. And I recently did this one for Christmas in July. And that one's by Ruth Sanderson. One of Mouses. Very cute. Like that cowboy. This was the one that I couldn't pronounce the name, but look at that fun countdown to Christmas. Oh, here's another countdown, Advent Calendar. And these are Mariola Budek, which does stunning grayscale. Very cute. <clears throat> I have uh, the Cabbage Patch Kids, which is a Coloring Heaven collection book. So this is not one that you can get in a subscription. These ones you'd need to buy uh, as single issues. 
Um, so this one is the latest, I think, of the collection series. And um, basically has images of the Cabbage Patch Kids. Let's see if we can get a... That one's a good back to school one. Ballet. Cabbage Patch Kids are um, pretty much nostalgic for me because I grew up in that era. I like that lifeguard. There's a lot of um, horizontal ones. I'm trying to skip to the vertical ones, but you get the idea. So there's this one. And these ones, the collection, vi uh, collection books, they come with more pages. So this one comes with 48, and the traditional ones come with 40. Just to give you a heads up. They also have um, the Coloring Heaven Junior magazine, which is now called Quick and Easy Coloring. Um, I have this one, which is Cute Little Dragons, which is really, really cute. Um, and these are by, the illustrations are by Lee Holland. And this is the back. Gives you thumbnails here. Are all of them horizontal? No. Okay, so basically Lee Holland has a whole bunch of digi stamps and it looks like they've taken those and put them into a book. The paper in this is a lot different than the uh, other ones because I think these are designed for kids, but they're still super cute and adorable. I should do some of these for... Some of that one's cute where he's coming out of the shell. Love that. And this one, I believe, is still available for purchase on the Anthem Publishing website and on Etsy. This one is an old one. Um, this, is, this one I got at Barnes & Noble. Uh, this is a Color to Heaven issue, regular issue, World of Princesses special. And these ones are exclusive designs from a Fabiana Tree. Tree? And these are kind of what they look like. There's a, a tad bit of like sketchy gray scally to them. Very unique. Look at that pirate one. I should do that one. I like her with her head headdress thing. This one scares me because I'm afraid of the background. I'm afraid that it will be too many tans going on in this page. Indian girl. I've done this one. Very long time ago. The Japanese princess. I remember I was so proud of her hair. <laughs> this one would be a... Uh, a really pretty one to do for um, in remembrance of the Queen because she was really young when she became Queen and her dad was the King Queen Elizabeth this one I flagged because I had a dragon prompt and I thought this would be cool I never colored it she's really pretty too she reminds me of uh, like the girl on Never Ending Story, the princess on Never Ending Story. Butterfly. So there's that. I really like this book. I have the Coloring Heaven Fairy Special. And these ones are illustrations by Jana Prosperina. I love Jana Prosperina. I actually follow her on Patreon. Uh, she... I just love her work. Or they don't seem too intense. They just seem really cute and fun. I like the faces. This one would be a good one for back to school because she's sitting on some books. She does do grayscale too. I actually prefer her line art versus the grayscale in some cases. But I do have some of her grayscale ones on PDF.
I think I flagged one. What one did I flag? Oh, I flagged this one because of the um, morning glory flowers. See how thick the line art is? This one's more thinner. So some are more basic and some are more detailed. So there's basically for every level of colorist here. I haven't had a chance to color in this one. It's very gorgeous. So there's that one. And this one says it includes 10 exclusive designs. But it didn't say, did it say which ones were exclusive? It didn't say which ones were exclusive in this. I think they just started recently putting which ones are exclusive. Um, I have the Zodiac special. Um, this one has a mix of artists here. Um, they say the artist right here. I, I won't be able to pronounce that one. We have Tanya Bond, Kelly O'Gorman, Mitzi Satawuf. Wuf? Satawuf? And this one, I like. These are cute. These, or she also had, um, this is also known as Aurora Wings. Because I have several PDFs from them. This is Tanya Bond. You can recognize um, the artist. Some artists just you can just tell who it is. This is Kelly O'Gorman. Kelly is amazing. She does a great job. This is the one I can't pronounce. Gorgeous girls. Look at that hair. Virgo. Nails. So there's the Zodiac special. I have the Mermaid special, and these ones are illustrations by Anastasia L.A. Coldariva. And I don't have any books by Anastasia, so I feel privileged to have this magazine. That, that's one of the nice things about Coloring Heaven. You get a chance to um, color in or see images from artists that maybe you wouldn't have known or couldn't afford and have them have a chance to color them or have them just as art piece to look at. And this, uh, her women are a little intimidating to me. I think it's because the line work is so fine. So I have not colored in it. I think this is from Nocturnes, um, that book. See, this one is just stunning. I would love to see this colored, but I'm scared to death. Look how detailed it is. <laughs> yeah. I try not to be intimidated. I mean, look at her face. It's like realism portrait style. It's gorgeous. Um, did that one. I flagged this one because I think it's really cute. I want to color but it, but I'm scared to color it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just need to work up my confidence level for these. So there's this one, the mermaid special. I have the Nauvoo Fairy Special, and these are designs by Herb Leonard, uh, or Lenhard, and um, I colored the cover, as you guys can see that, and I did that with markers and different glitter elements. So since this was a boy, I decided that his headpiece needed to be green, not a flower, so yeah. I do like this book. Um, <clears throat> this artist definitely has a style. Um, you can tell by the illustrations with the dark line work, uh, with a mix of dark lines and uh, finer lines. And he does uh, do a lot of borders. This one's really cute, it would be fun for winter. Look at the snowflakes. Every time I look in these books, I find something new and different. Look at that one. 
And I think his illustrations, like the women and stuff, are based off of real women. Which is an awesome idea. And we have children and stuff. But yeah. Look, there's a paintbrush right there. And doggy. And cherries. So there's that one. I have, like I said, I haven't colored in this, but I have cover colored the cover, so I'm proud of myself for coloring the cover, which is awesome. I have the Fairy Story Special, and these ones are illustrations by Fabiana Atanasio, and I love Fabiana. Fabiana, she's one of my favorite artists, favorite artists, and these ones are all. Horizontal, so I'm just going to skip through those. That's a Pinocchio one. Like this one. Another cute one. Captain Hook. I do like that they get, they put this out. I need to color this one. This was a buddy color I had set up with um, Disney Megs. And some things happened in my life which made it so it's hard for me to get a chance to color this so I do need to color this she finished hers a long time ago so I, I apologize about that Meg I, I'll eventually get it it's flagged I slowly get to my buddy colors as soon as I can and I've colored this one I really like how this turned out I like my Cinderella I like the colors I just love I loved coloring this one and I think I shaded with polychromos on top of markers if I remember right so that's the fairy story special next one I have here is steampunk special and these are illustrations by um, Matt and Don Davidson I love, love the Davidson's art style. You can get um, more of their work on Etsy. And this is just um, a regular subscription one. So Matt um, has more detailed. That one's cool. The Wicked. Windy, Victorious, Peter Pan. See how sketchy and just Cool. This is that's so steampunky. I love it. This is the it says Herlock Combs. So I think it's supposed to be a spoof off of Sherlock Holmes. Look at that. That's cool. Dr. Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde. That'd be good for Halloween. So I'll kind of move on to Dawn. These are still matte. Look at the Alice in Wonderland. I have seen this colored and it looks gorgeous. I'm just so intimidated. Maybe I should copy mine and then kind of do some things, figure it out, and then color in my book. This is Dawn. So Dawn's are more simple. Like, I could see myself coloring Dawn's before I colored Matt's. <laughs> Just because uh, they don't seem as intimidating. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet to tinker with her toy harmonium. When schoolmates did chide her, she set forth a spider, <laughs> which affected complete pandemonium. Yeah, I like that. This is an exclusive one. There's another exclusive. That's exclusive as well. That one too. I think for the most part they put the exclusives up front. I love that. I think she's pretty. There's those. This one is the Fairies in Nature special. This one has very lighter um, line work and this one was uh, issue 75 I'm not sure if you can still get this one 
Um, this uh, illustrations are by Jenny Cook. I think this one is based off of real people too, if I remember right. They're just so delicate. I need to, so look how cute. I need to color one to see what kind of medium I like the best. That says birthday treat, kitty. I um, mark this one because I think this one would really be really fun to color. Uh, and it's not too intimidating on the face because her eyes are kind of closed. So I think I could do this one justice, maybe. <laughs> this one's really pretty too. This one is holding the magazine. I like how that... So there's that one. I have the Colorful Adventure Storybook Special. And these are uh, illustrations by Josh Lee, or Josh Lee. And this one, I just like his work, so of course I had to have it. This is like a storybook, so... That tiger is so cool. So it has words right here that you can read the story. And it's the same girl and everything. So if you wanted to... Uh, make sure she looked the same way throughout the whole book. You could like color the first page and go from there. Look how long her hair is. His line work um, is not super thick, but it's not super faint either, which makes it easy to use markers on. Very anime like so there's that one I have the fantasy figure special and these illustrations are by Maud Lamone and her work is amazing amazing um, I have several PDFs from her um, I haven't ever purchased a book because it's kind of expensive on her Etsy store so I'm so happy to have this in my Coloring Heaven collection. I do like her line work style. It's not super intimidating looking and there's like a tad grayscale to it. And there's thick lines and there's thinner lines. So yes, I really do like her style of illustrations. And I think her girl's faces are very pretty. And she also does guys as well. I don't know if there's guys in this. I can't remember. <laughs> Look at the baby. There's a guy. Oh, that's so cool. That one's really pretty too. And these are exclusives. Look at that mask. Wife of the Wind. Gift of Life, Tiara Flower, The Song of Use, I think. These are all still exclusives. So there's quite a few exclusives in here. 15. I like that guy. He's so cool looking. This one would be a fun one to cover. The color, the cover. I have the unicorn special and um, these ones have several different artists in here. We have uh, Heather Hitchman, uh, Selena Fennick, and White Stag. So these are White Stag, which is your Misfits uh, coloring books. If you have the unicorn um, Misfits book, you may not need this unless you like the other artists. Because I think these are all in the, the Unicorn um, Misfits book. I have that one, but 
I was subscribed to, so obviously I got this book. I, I usually, when I do the subscription, I usually do the one, the three month one, because it's more affordable for me just to pay for the three month at a time. This is Selena Fennec. She does some really gorgeous unicorns. I think those might be in her unicorn book, but I'm not sure. The top of my head. And these are by Heather Hitchman, and these are exclusives to this magazine. So, yeah. You can follow her on Etsy. But I don't think you can just get her images just to color. I think you would need to get this magazine if you wanted to color her images. I don't think she offers PDFs. But she could have changed and maybe she does now. I thought this one was really pretty so I flagged it. So there's that one. I have the Ink House Storybook Special, and these ones are illustrations by Rory Dobner. You can also get the Ink House uh, book on Etsy. Um, if you don't have that book and you want single-sided, I would say try to get this book because it's single-sided and has a lot of the same images in it. I have both, <laughs> and I haven't colored in either. To me, I would rather test my colors and what I want to do and say this book before I went on to my hardback book. This one with the cat. I like this one with the monkey too. This one with the turtle is really cute. I have flagged this one several times to do. I just haven't done it. So many books, so little time. I've seen this one done several times. I flagged this one. Because I thought, it, I think I saw, I think I had a hat prompt or something. And I thought it would be perfect for a hat prompt. But I didn't have time to color it apparently. So there's that. <clears throat> I have the Halloween special. So these have 40 images. Uh, Hannah Lynn, Ennis Guerrero, um, Sarah Richter, and more. And this one is really cool. Did I color in this one? I remember I colored a witch. Maybe it wasn't in this one. That's Matt Davidson. A lot of uh, great ones for Halloween. That's a little too intense for me. <laughs> That's the nice thing, um, having a variety of artists. If some aren't really your style, you can stay away from that. See, I like the cutesy type, like I like that. <laughs> Even this isn't too bad. This is by Zoe Sadler. Pumpkin guy. This is really cool. I like that one. Maybe I should flag that for Halloween. And these are by Hannah Lynn. Which you can find in her Halloween book. If you don't have it, this is a good variety. And I do like these images as well. I flagged this one. I thought it was really cute. She's creating magic snowstorm for this little polar bear. That's really cute. I have the Christmas special by Color in Heaven. And this one has 40. So we have Michaelina... Uh, Micah, Jelena, Hannah Lynn, Fabric, 
Fabricana Fantasy, Zoe Sadler, Lenica Flanoco, and more. <laughs> I'm sure I said some of those wrong, so please don't judge. I do have some of Mika's um, minikins, and I really love those. These are by Zoe Sadler, and I really like her images. I We did the Tinseltown um, color thing, oh, was it last year? Me and a few of my fellow color tubers. That's fun. That's a good Santa. I like these. A lot of these artists, um, I think you can get them on Etsy, but you can't like get them in the um, on Amazon. Like a Fabrica Fantasy, I don't think you can get that on Amazon. Like, I would have never known this artist if she wasn't in this magazine. Daniela Leitishiva or something. Those are some. There's Hannah Lynn, of course. Jenny Cook. This one's pretty. I like that one. <coughs> We have the Neko Girls special. So all these girls have little like cat foxy ears. And these um, anime cat girls is what it's called. These are illustrations by Dina Stone. And I haven't colored in this one yet. Now you can see why that hashtag was so important. I flagged this one, but I don't know why she doesn't look like I want to color her right now. Maybe it was for a prompt or something. Like her, like her too. Yep. All of these girls have cat ears. Rocker chick. That one's pretty, it has a lighthouse in it. That one's an exclusive. Another exclusive. She has a hat. There's another one. These are all exclusives. I think with these you can go really vibrant and punchy colors. I have the Fairytopia special, um, and these ones are by Mystic Art Mirrors, or Christine Gloria Sink, and there's some that are grayscale, which are on the back, and line art. I like both. I don't care if it's line art or grayscale, I think they're both beautiful. A lot of her girls have really, um pouty lips, if that makes sense. And she has an Etsy store you can get books and PDFs from. I think you can still get this one on Anthem Publishing. Maybe. Oh, I did this one. This one was a buddy color with tea. That's how I colored it. I had all sorts of glitterish goodness into this page. <laughs> I think I may have flagged one in here. Which one? Oh, I flagged this one because it had a baby goat in it. And uh, there's not very often I find pictures that have goats in them. So I, that one's an, an exclusive to this magazine. No, squirrel one is too. Exclusive. Exclusive. So I think for the most part the exclusives are in the front. I have the Sarah Kay um, coloring book. This one's absolutely adorable. Every time I pull this out, 
I just can't decide which one I want to color. This is a collection book. It has 48 designs. And so they're all Sarah Kay uh, designs. And I just never can decide on one because I love all of them so much. These are all Christmas ones. How darling. Flying a kite. Just so sweet. I love this type of art style. Um, the vintage art style. And I also like fabric that has this stuff on it too. This one I flagged because I thought it was super cute. And I thought, oh, I could probably do this one. It's a combination of line art and grayscale. But I haven't colored it yet. <laughs> Flag this one too because I just thought it was too cute for words. All of them are. They're very uh, sun bonnet -y. There is that. I have the Chibi collection, so these are the 48. So these are more, I'm pulling my collection series, obviously, and these are all by Josh Lee. And I think you can get the Chibi collection, or Chibi book on Amazon, but they may not come with all these images. I'm sure there's some exclusives, but I'm not sure. I flagged this one because I thought the robot looked like Baymax. And this is another one that every time I pull it out, I like so many pictures in it. I can't decide on which one I want to color. So, <laughs> yeah. Maybe I need someone to buddy color with me to break the ice in this book. Because I just can't decide which one I want to color. A lot of different ones in here for, like, Halloween that one looks like Gandalf, but yet it has a Mario mushroom and the Mario plants. He ended up in the Mario game, I guess. <laughs> this one would be good for Halloween, that Dracula. So there's that. I have um, the Hatsune Miku. <laughs> um, these ones, exclusive designs of a virtual singer, Soupstar, and her friends. Uh, to me, I don't know who that is, but it's very anime, and anime is up my alley. And this is a collection book. So, of course, I had to have it because it's anime. And what's funny is I like to color anime, but I don't really watch anime. My husband likes anime. She's cool. And the this line work doesn't seem super threatening to me. I just haven't had a chance to color in this yet. I think I... Yeah, I flagged a couple. I flagged this one because it reminded me of Alice and the Cheshire Cat. And I flagged that one because it was an Alice one as well. And then I flagged this one because I thought that the sock monkey hats were really cute. I used to make sock monkey hats for babies and little kids when I was way into crochet. So, yeah, I think that one would be fun to color. <clears throat> I have the Gorgeous Santoro London Collection. Um, this one uh, I just think is absolutely stunning. I would love to get more stuff from Santoro's Gorgeous Collection. So if you know of any other stuff that is part of this Gorgeous Santoro Collection, please let me know. I love, love this style. Uh, this is 48 as well because it's a collection book. 
and I haven't colored in this one either because it's like everything is too cute for me to even pick. So this would be another one that if you have this book and want to do a buddy color to help me break the ice on this book, please let me know. So cute. And I know they wouldn't take that long to color, it's just all of them are so cute so I can't decide on which one I want to color. <laughs> I um, selected that one because of the the pirate hashtag going on, but I just haven't colored it. And I thought this one was cute for fall. So I do go through them. I just, yeah, they're very cute. I have the Holly Hobby one collection. And this one has several different cuties. This has 48 images as well. It has grayscale images. Whoops, I keep wobbling the desk. Just want to make sure I'm in frame for you guys. I want to open up the book as much as I can. I really do like the grayscale ones, but they seem a little intimidating. I think I just need to color one just to see how I feel. I think I think if I just colored one I would be fine. I just am a little intimidated. I'm not so intimidated with the line art ones. So maybe I should start with a line art one. That one's cute. Love it. And I'm not sure if you can still get this one. You may be able to get it on Etsy. If it's not on Anthem or Etsy, try eBay. Maybe people are selling it. But I know this one went pretty fast. It's like they have so many and then after they're out, they're out. That's why um, getting the subscription is nice because then you're guaranteed to have one. And if it's not really your style, you can sell it or give it to a friend. But... Yeah, the, these collection ones, uh, you have to buy individually. They're not in a subscription. I got the Care Bears one because I was a Care Bears child, and I had to get the Care Bears one. And um, there's some grayscale ones in the back with the Care Bear cousins, which are different animals. Because there was there was two places, if you remember. There was Carolot. And then below that was where the cousins lived. And yeah, this one would be fun for Halloween, Easter. I think I flagged one uh, to do. This one's cute. Which one did I flag? Positive vibes. Lots of words in some of these. Oh, I did this one because I thought it would be a fun one to color for the 80s. Yeah, this one's cute. a little Yeti. I was going to color him when I had the monster prompt. So it wasn't scary, but it was cute. Or this one. I just never had a chance because of some mental health stuff. This is really cute though. I have the Christmas Traditions one collection and these are all exclusive designs by Fabiana Atanasio. So you can't get these designs anywhere else except for this magazine. Which is obviously a must-have for me because Fabiana is one of my favorite artists. And these are adorable. Really need to do some work. I thought that one would be cute for Christmas in July. Because it wasn't so Christmassy that I would feel weird coloring it. But Christmassy enough that... You know, it would work for Christmas in July, but I didn't ever color it. <laughs> I thought this one was really cute too with the matching pajamas. 
Here's a nativity one. Decorating or presents. Poinsettia. I just like her um, line art style. Her fairy tale books are one of my most favorite books. So there's this one. Just checking the time here. I have the Fairies Compendium. Uh, so this one, um, the compendium books are different than the collection and the subscription. These ones you have to buy individually as well. Um, I love fairies, as you can tell. Several of the books that I've shown were fairy books. And so, of course, I have this one. Because I love fairies. And these were it from the fairy special. So, since it's a compendium, they have put um, all the fairy books basically in here. So, remember I said I wanted to color the guy with the fish? He, he's in here too. So, several of these images I already have. But like this one, the Gothic Fairy Special, that one was sold out. So, I wasn't able to get it. But I have images from that in here. So, I wanted to color her. That's why she's flagged. So if you don't get an opportunity to get the regular Color in Heaven specials, but want a taste of that, I would suggest the compendiums or the annuals. Like this one was another one I missed out on the special. But I have enough here to get a taste. Meredith Dillman. I have some of her books, actually. I think I have one of them. This one's really pretty too. I missed out on this um, Woodland Fantasy special as well. This was number 30. It was before I knew about Color in Heaven. Look at him, he's cool. I like him. And this is from the Fairies and Elves special, another one that I missed out on. But this is from Lindsay Archer. So there's that. I haven't colored in that one yet, but it's gorgeous. I have the Witches Compendium. And this one I have colored in. Um, but I'm missing a little tab. That's okay. So this one has 48 images as well. So they basically took all the witches out of all the the books that were done that year and put them in here. So I have done this one. And this was from uh, number 66, special number 66 Halloween. And I don't have that one, but I have this one and I colored it. And this one was done with several different medias, but for the most part, the pencils were Polychromos and Derwent Color Softs. And I still like how she turned out, like her vibrant red hair that I did with Polychromos. And then the other stuff was done with the Derwent. This is Jana Prosperinus. This is Dawn Davidson. And a Squero. Nikki Burnett. I don't have any of Nikki's books, so I'm glad to have some of her images. She does uh, do beautiful witches. She was in the um, number 54. This is, was the Sorcerers and Sorceresses book. I didn't have one. I didn't get that one either. Sounds cool. Molly Harrison. This is from the Witches book, the volume 40. This is a uh, lighter line work. And these are from Jasmine back at Griffith. And this is one of those um, books I wish I could have gotten, number 39, but it was out of stock. So at least I got some of these images. But I have 
um, Jasmine's Halloween book. So, but I'm glad to have a second copy of these images. And this was from Magic and Mythology, Lindsay Archer. That one is cool. This one's cool too, it's by Selena Fennick. These are by Fantasy Special. So there is the Witch's Compendium. I have the annual uh, 2019. I didn't get the other annuals because I pretty much had those images, but this one I was missing quite a few images so I decided to get it. See how it says the very best fantasy designs of the year? So if they have annual 2020 and they have annual 2021, Bless me, guys. <laughs> um, so, if you're interested in those, you can get those, I think, still. But I try to get the ones that I don't have images for. So at least I can have a taste of those books. I thought that one would be a fun one to color for um, the summer. Because she made a sandcastle. But I just didn't have time. There's some more of the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Strange Isn't Special. And this is by Meredith Dillman. Like I said, I, ha I have some of her work and she does a really good job. This one, and that's Hannah Lynn. Oh, I flagged this one because I was going to buddy color this with True Colors. She was going to pick another fairy and I was going to pick this one. We both were going to buddy color a fairy from Hannah Lynn. And then things happened in my life and I wasn't able to color it. She finished hers and it turned out really cute. She picked a, a different fairy. and I still have that flag so that I can color that with her if I get an opportunity. I think this is cute. The Wizard of Oz. Gina. These are by Kanoko Agusa. I don't have very many of Kanoko's books. And this is from Zanbod Zed. I only have one of Zanbod Zed's books. So it's nice to have a little bit of that. And this is by Selena Fennick. I've seen Ashley from Ashley's Coloring Journey color that one. It's beautiful. <clears throat> and then the final one that I'm going to show you guys of my Coloring Heaven collection is a collector's edition, a collector's issue, which I purchased from Barnes & Noble. And it has 40 um, images in it. Uh, they're all by Tabitha Thor Thorup. And yeah. These are really cute, especially for Halloween. Frightling's Halloween. And if you look on the back here, I think these are from, you can go to a website, myfrightlings.com. You can see the little different things. But they have these little, like, characters. I've colored the bat. I colored this guy. I really like this guy, I think. He turned out really cute. He was one of my first colorings and I still really love him. I like this stitched look. The little monster creature things. They're too cute to be scary. <laughs> That's what I like about it. little vampires. Sorry, I keep turning to all the horizontal ones. I'm trying to get through some. And I did this one. I remember when I did this one, I colored the bunny with Prismacolor pencils, and there's some marker in the background. And then I had colored the blood, and then I put glossy accents on the blood and everything. And I remember um, I got finished like oh, he looked like a radioactive bunny and like he messed up 
ate some bad carrots or something. And I remember I told my daughter, what do you think? She goes, that's scary. Put that book away. <laughs> so apparently I made something scary. <laughs> but yeah, it's the last of my Color in Heaven collection. And as you can see, I had quite a few. And um, quite a few that I hadn't colored in. And a few buddy colors that need to be done. <laughs> I'm hoping to get um, the buddy colors done. Uh as soon as I can. Um, it just depends how life goes and how I'm feeling. But yeah, um, if you have any questions about any of those, please let me know in the comments. Um, I was happy to share them with you. I hope you guys enjoyed the little flip thingies that I did. Uh, like I said, they weren't full flips, but they were kind of a general idea of each book. So you kind of got a feel for what I have in my collection. And I haven't gotten any more since the fledglings. I think I'm just going to stick with trying to find find them at Walmart. And if they're my kind of thing, getting them instead of getting the subscription. Or maybe I'll ask for the subscription for Christmas or something. We'll see. We'll see. But um, I will put down the Anthem Publishing website down below. Uh, the link to it and also the link to the Etsy store if you're interested in looking at those to see if there's any books that they have in stock that you may be interested in. Um, keep in mind uh, there is shipping costs. Um, it's usually more worth your value if you're in the U.S. to go through the Etsy store and buy so many books and I think they do free shipping after so many or something like that. But um, if you have a Walmart or a Barnes & Noble, check them out first and see. But they usually only have the newest release. If you're looking for something that's older, you may need to check out the Etsy store. Anyway, um, if you have Color in Heaven magazines and you want to join me and Sarah for um, Love and Color in Heaven 2022, um, please do so. We love to see your work and if... We don't get a chance to comment on your picture. Um, we'll at least make a heart um, on the likes on Instagram. Um, I know that me and Sarah have had, both have had a lot going on lately. So we do see your images. Um, we are trying to like them. And if we have a chance, we will comment on them. And yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching your love and support. And happy coloring, everyone. Bye, friends.